welcome back to my channel and to today's video which is a bit of a sales update but rather than a general sales update it's specifically focused on the retail arbitrage that I did a few months ago when TK Maxx had their um, final clearance sale and you may have seen those haul videos if not I will link them um, if not in the description box, I will add them as the end card of the video. Um, so yeah, you, you might have seen them and I spent just over £300 in total. Um, that was sort of end of January, pretty sure. Um, so a few months ago and I thought I'd give you a bit of an update as to how things have gone with that stuff. Um, and. I mean, the answer is that I'm I'm really happy with how it's gone. Um, almost immediately, quite a lot of it sold through. And now I'm still getting the odd sale here and there. Um, so I think I got 31 items altogether. And so far, 16 of them have sold. So that's just over half in approximately two months. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. That's fine with me. Um, I'm also quite happy with the margins that I've got. Um, so that's all good and the majority of them sold on eBay, 14 sold on eBay and 2 sold on Vestiaire. Um, this was my first dabble into Vestiaire and um, it proved to be quite successful. I um, found that there's not a lot of interaction on there. Um, most people that you send offers to you hear nothing from and the two items that I sold on Vestiaire um, were from buyers sending me offers. Um, I sent out loads of offers on these items, but you know, no one, no one bit. So that's my general experience. But anyway, let's jump into what's actually sold. And I'm going to do it in chronological order. I've got my laptop here, and I've just got up um, everything that sold. So the first thing to sell, which was within two days of being listed, was this. Um, NN07, which is no nationality, um, shirt. This is a brand that I had never heard of before. Um, Jordan, who is Reseller UK on Instagram, if you're part of the Instagram reselling community, he uh, mentioned this brand, so I knew it was worth picking up. Um, this shirt was probably one of the lowest margins of the whole haul. Um, I paid £19 for it and it sold for 40. Um, when I went to list it, it was worth less than I expected it to be, but still um, profitable. And after fees, I ended up making, let's see, uh, 1961. So I just, just doubled my money, a little bit more than that. Um, the next thing to sell were some Juicy Couture um, Velour Jogging Bottoms. These um, I picked up because the Velour Joggers are Juicy Couture's most sort of iconic piece, aren't they? Um, so yeah, they sold for 40. I'd paid 12 for them and that left me after fees of a profit of £27.14. Um, I won't tell you all the profits because it'll make it long and tedious. Um, the next item to sell was a break burn maxi dress. I paid £5 for this and it sold for £25.50. So that was nice, five times um, cost. Then uh, one of the Juicy Couture sort of gift sets sold. So this had a little wristlet bag. So you could use it as a pouch to, you know, when you're going on holiday to put, I don't know, electronics in, it would fit a tablet in or a Kindle, um, or you could use it as a wristlet sort of clutch. And it also had a little card holder and a key ring. Um, I had this listed at 25 and I took an offer of 18 because um, sales must have been not great at this point. <laughs> then I sold um, a fir the first pair of the Nike joggers that I bought, so I bought a few pairs of these. Um, that was five pounds into 20, so four times my money. Um, and they were obviously a very generous size, which I think helped to sell them. Then uh, LK Bennett dress sold, this cost me 15 and I took an offer of 60. I had it listed at 65. Um, these dresses, I've still got the black one listed, 
were worth less than I'd imagined them to be because they still had their original LK Bennett price ticket on at 350 um, So for a brand new dress that was 350 I was hoping to get more around the 100 to £150 pound mark. However, um, as is to be expected, or expected with retail arbitrage, you're not going to be the only person doing it. And eBay had quite a few of these dresses listed and they were all sort of listed ranging from 50 to 70 pounds so i went to the upper end at 65 but not right to the top because i wanted to be a little bit competitive um and yeah on this one i sent someone offer of 60 and they took it so that was nice uh, another no nationality top this one only cost me nine pounds and that was into 37 pound 50 so a much nicer margin on that one that one i actually made um let's see 27 21 on so yeah, happy with that. Uh, then another Juicy Couture item sold. This was a pair of the velour leggings. They were a tighter fit than the joggers. And these actually had Juicy, um, what's the word? Not engraved, embroidered um, into the rear of them. Um, they were listed at 30, took an offer of 25. Um, without looking back at the haul, I can't remember exactly how much, but I believe they were around the six to nine pound mark. So um, roughly profit on those was about 19 quid, which um, for my investment, it's fine. I do usually aim for four to five times, but since these were all such quick flips, that's fine with me. If something sells within the first month of being listed to me, that's a quick flip. Um, then the second uh, Juicy Couture gift set sold. So this one was in a different colour to the other one. And this one sold at full price, uh, £24.95. So out of nine quid, um, that's okay. Not quite three times profit, but again, a quick sale, listed less than a month. And then on the same day, um, another pair of the Night Joggers sold. So this pair was a 2XL, the first pair that sold was 3XL. And again, 20, five, um, so that was five quid into 20 quid. Um, I'd had these listed at 30, but that was very much a top end of what people had them listed for. So I knew that I'd gone high with it and 20 quid was fine. Like I say, four times what I'd paid. Um, and then it was actually a good couple of weeks until the next item sold. And this time it was another pair of night joggers, but in cream. Um, and these went for 25, so slightly better money. That's five times what I paid. Then, um, five days later, I had the uh, sort of second best sale of all the stuff that I bought from TK Maxx, and it was the um, No Nationality Field Jacket. This actually, um, I'm crossing my fingers about, it's still en route to the buyer. Um, I dispatched it the day after they paid. But for whatever, well, we all, well, I say we all know, I think a lot of people will be aware that Royal Mail have had their issues with international shipping and they only actually opened up international shipping again a couple of weeks ago. And I posted this about three days after that had happened. So I think that's why it's taken so long to get there. Um, when I checked yesterday, it only just cleared customs. So anyway, I paid £26 for this and this sold for 150 so really happy with that that's almost sixfold what i paid for it and after fees um i was left with a profit of 102 pounds 83 so that was fantastic then um since then i've had two more sales um one was this juicy velour uh, juicy couture velour crop top i believe this was even five or six pounds and it sold for 21 and then um, this feeler velour bucket hat sold great margin on this because it only cost me one pound and it sold for 20 so really chuffed with that um so those are all the ebay sales on to um vestiaire sales the first one um this didn't actually sell first but i'm saving my best sale till last this one um sold for 50 quid. Vestiaire fees are quite high because as far I'm pretty sure that their base rate is £15 in fees 
and then once your item gets past a certain value you pay an extra percentage on top of that i'm not sure because i've not looked at their full fee breakdown the reason i think that is because this sold for 50 and i got paid out a solid 35 so on that one, not the best because I only doubled my money as I paid £17 for this dress and it still had its tag on saying that it was worth, it, RRP was 160 So, you know, not the best, but it's gone and the buyer's happy with it. So I've still made money, that's fine. So yes, my most expensive sale, but not necessarily my best margin because it was, a, it was the most expensive thing that I bought from TK Maxx, was the Ralph Lauren purple label hoodie. Now, this was £54, but I picked it up because I used to work at Ralph Lauren, and I know that purple label is their catwalk label. Now, I worked in a Ralph Lauren outlet store, and you may know this, but Ralph Lauren outlet stores are actually um, factory outlets. And that means that 90% of what is in there is made for the outlet it's not come down from the full price to output about 10 percent of what's in there is and you can tell because the labels look different um so if you ever wonder why you see a different label that's why so anyway um all that to say when i worked at ralph lauren for three years um as a weekend job whilst i was at college and in that time i saw three purple label items and they were always extortionate so when I saw this in TK Maxx I knew it was good and in TK Maxx I'd never seen purple label before there is a fair amount of Ralph Lauren in there but I've never seen purple label so I took the punt and I paid £54 for it and there weren't many solds and completed on eBay there wasn't a great deal to go off on Bestier there was no other there were no purple label hoodies in the UK um, so I went high on it I listed it at 280 pounds and as you can see from what I ended up getting for it um, I dropped my price quite considerably because I knew that I was punching but it's worth a try it really is so I put it on at 280 left it a couple of weeks dropped it to 250 left it a couple more weeks dropped it to 220 and then I'd had no interest on eBay whatsoever. And on Bestia, someone sent me this offer and I just thought, do you know what? I'm taking it because it was the only interest that I'd had. Um, so that was the price that it sold for, 17536 Um, But I actually received 143.80 from Bestia. So that left me with a profit of £89.80. It's so a 90 quid. So... I basically tripled my money on that one, but it sold so quickly that um, I was happy with it. My dad's calling me. I'll be back in a second. Sorry if the angles changed slightly. Um, so yeah, I had told you about everything that had sold. That was it. That was the last item was the hoodie. Um, and overall, that means that my, bearing in mind that I've only sold one item more than the halfway mark of what I bought, I've still got a lot left to sell. The cost of everything that I sold was 203 and it all sold for a combined price of £751.95. So that is just more, just less than four times what I paid. So I'm really happy with that. Three and a half to four times what I paid for it all. Um, is great because like I say quick flips and that left me with a profit of 469.98 and I've not even sold half of it yet so was it worth it yes it really really was um I've sold more than what I've sold so far is two and a half times what I paid for the whole haul so I am so far into profit with it already and everything else that I sell is just pure profit, whatever I make. So that was TK Maxx sales update. Um, as you can tell, next time they do the end of, what was it called? The final clearance, I'll be back and I'd recommend that you have a look for yourselves too. Um, 
quite a few people over on Instagram were doing it, the Instagram reselling community. If you don't follow me over there, my account is uh, Flipping Jack Parish. It is in the About section on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, quite a few people on Instagram were doing it, and every, it was interesting seeing what everyone bought, um, because obviously each branch has different stuff. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you found it interesting. Please leave me a comment if there's anything that you'd like to know, or if you have got some retail arbitrage yourself that you've been doing well with, and I'll see you all again really soon with another upload. Bye.